So, oh god, I need to remember how I even do this. Um, this is awkward. Okay. Um, hello. It's been like three years. Yeah. I guess a little under three years, over three years? Almost four? Uh, I know, honestly. I don't know. Um, let's see. My knee. I mean, first of all, a lot, a lot has changed. I am, I am a junior in college now. Um, it's the apocalypse. I mean, it's, it's more pre-apocalyptic than anything. I don't think we're going to get full-blown apocalypse yet. <laughs> yet. Yet. Um, same college dorm room. The difference is that this is the first video I've made in it, whereas everything else was in my room at home. Uh, I'm staying, um, on campus because I have to feed a diamondback terrapin. It's my job. And also, going home's hardly an option at the moment. More on that, probably not later, let's be honest here, I don't have time to make videos, but if I do, sure. Um, maybe I'll do ferret and turtle videos, I mean, why not? Um, I will not edit them though, I don't have time for that. <laughs> Do not, 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 I'm a, I'm a double major, okay? I write, and then biology is hard sometimes, so, no. <laughs> anyway, my knee. Uh, I can do more than I could do before surgery. However, however, um, I will say that part of that comes from the fact that I have gone through, I've gone to lengths to make sure that my knee has support because, and I even said this at the time, I don't have a trochlear groove, and I should probably have one. I still don't have one. That's not what happened during the surgery. That was just an MPFL reconstruction, so I don't have that groove still. Um... And I should have one. There is still nowhere for my kneecap to lay. That being the case, I have dislocated it again. <laughs> um, now, it wasn't the world's worst dislocation. It was not even close to my worst dislocation. I was just kind of shocked more than anything. Like, no, this didn't happen again. Not that knee. No. It did. <laughs> it did. But the good news is that it's pretty much started over. So it's, um, gone back to how it was the first couple times I dislocated it, where it kind of popped out and back in really fast, whereas the more I dislocated it, the more it was kind of like, I dislocated it and I have to put it back now, because it's just, it's just so damaged. Um, I've only dislocated it once, but I blame part of that on the fact that I know how not to move my body at this point, <laughs> and I don't do certain things because I, I know what'll happen. Um, I've not had surgery on my right knee, and I am not going to because I dislocated my left knee again, and I don't really feel like going through the entire surgery. Now, to be fair, I'm not exactly normal. I was officially, unofficially diagnosed with, um, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, EDS, by my surgeon at the time. I say officially, unofficially, because I was there using, uh, workers' comp insurance and not my normal insurance, so they couldn't actually, like, diagnose me with anything. Um, but, that being, the, that, that being said, I was told that that is a high, high possibility. And I had already thought that. 
um, separately. I didn't tell the surgeon I thought that. He just told me that he thought that, that was probable. And I'm like, well, uh, yeah, I've been thinking that for a bit now. Um, but yeah, that's, that's probably why I've had an interesting experience with it. But also, that being the case, I can... So one thing with that is that usually um, recovering from a surgery is harder, takes longer, is sometimes you just don't heal as well. I have healed fairly well, aside from the fact that I still can dislocate it because there's no effort to sit. Um, but, like, th th this ligament is not mine. <laughs> this ligament is not my ligament. It is somebody else. Well, it was somebody else's. So it shouldn't have the same issues. Now, when I say that I'm a bio major, I mean, I'd have more stuff to do with, you know, ecology, particularly marine ecology and that kind of thing, rather than human physiology. So the stuff that I know, I, I don't know because I've taken deeper classes into human anatomy. Um, I've just kind of done recreational reading because I, I do know how to read scientific papers. Believe it or not, yes, that is a skill. <laughs> um, it's kind of hard at first. <laughs> but... I recently got a jump rope, and I'm excited to start using that, but aside from that, I can bike, no problem, I can bike up hills, my knee still kinda does the weird thing sometimes when I go up hills, not always, um, if it does, I usually just sort of take my foot off the pedal, bend my knee, and everything goes back into place, I think what's happening is that it's slipping out of place a little bit. Um, so I just kind of bend it and it goes back. I don't dislocate. I've only dislocated it once. I've almost dislocated, and I haven't dislocated my right kneecap since surgery either. That is probably just because I know how to not move my body. <laughs> um, I've almost al also that my right kneecap is still dislocating much slower, which means that I have time to reverse the motion that I'm in. Um... I will say that I dislocated my left kneecap by rolling over in bed most recently. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of mad about it. I've done that before though. Was not expecting it to happen again. Um I can hike uh, apparently very well. I I can sort of hike myself up a fairly steep incline faster than my friends can. I like to hike with my dog. Um, that's all fun and good. I, I I honestly suggest that once you're cleared for it to if, if you get the surgery, I honestly really really recommend starting slow at the slow at the gym. And I would start with um, an elliptical because it's much less um, impact. A treadmill is higher impact and that'll probably hurt more and be harder on all your joints, so I'd recommend starting with an elliptical, because it's a lot less, I mean, it's not really any impact, actually, so that's good, um, and I'd also not recommend just straight up jogging too soon, because if you stumble, you can't catch yourself on any handles, because there aren't any, there's just the ground, <laughs> so i definitely recommend an elliptical, um, if you have joint problems in general, um, I recommend trying to build all the muscles in that area because it'll help to support the joint and make up for whatever is lacking. Um, and that definitely helps. I'm getting a call right now, so I'm just going to end the video here. I might update again later. Who knows? If I forgot anything comment, and I'll probably just make another video. <laughs> Bye.